Greetings, everybody. I've been dying to say that. I think it sounds more fun than hello. Um, just here we are again, looking at my book and the cards, illustrating how to use them and creatively healing together. Um, we have just about finished, well, we have finished, going through this wonderful looks unpromising because it's dark and, and in the cave but this was all the organic forms before we come into being in our crystallized form which is the the um leonardo da vinci man which we're going to look at next which is the pentagon um now the last one i just which was the key of life i forgot to mention something massively important um we did discuss um, meditation um but obviously what's important too is um, positive thought, which would give you an aim rather than having your negative thoughts aiming your life towards negativity. Um, you know, I kind of take it for granted because it's so obvious and all of us know about this. But, you know, as this is a self-help um, video, so I thought it was important to just go back and reiterate that um, because our neuro-linguistic programming is vital. Um, in the beginning was the word or the thought. So what we think is what will make happen. So therefore, we need to be on the on guard for all these positive thoughts and make sure that we negative thoughts. Sorry, make sure we project positive into the word. So world. So affirmations and vision boards and catching ourselves out and and even mantras. That's all very good too. Okay, so I just wanted to just reiterate that before we go on to the Pentagon, which is exciting. And the other thing I wanted to do was to share that lovely um, people have been sending in their mandalas, which is so cool. So I've had the odd one um, coming through. There's lovely Gayla who sent these in. Really cool. So that I'm so thrilled with that. Short thought I'd share that. I can't speak properly. Mercury, Mercury. Um, anyone who knows me will be killing themselves laughing now. So, where are we? We've done the I am, we've done the we are, the goddess, we've done the stand on your own two feet, the tripod of life, the Borromean rings, and then we did the the thought, you know, the, the, the um, key of life. So we begin to eat from the tree of knowledge and now we've, and now we're crystallizing into the pentagon. I don't know, but I find these for you, I find these really satisfying when I know and understand where I've come from and the building blocks of what God's intentions were. I do find that massively satisfying and incredibly reassuring. And it means we can work on all these different areas. OK, so what's going on in the Pentagon? We'll be looking at that right away. Um, we obviously want our Pentagon to be not crushed. So we don't want to be standing like that. We want to be very, you know, well and not grounded and have ourselves very clearly defined of what we're doing and happy, happy, happily surrounded and feeling secure. Um, so this is our family and our inner family, you know, what we're doing inside. Um, so that's going to come up and look at that and how to straighten that out. Then I thought it's really important, now we're getting into colour, so we've come away, obviously we have explored colour in the ones before, but it's been a, a byproduct. Now I'm actually going to be using, as you can see in the mandalas, wow, kapam, really strong colour. Um, and we're at the very beginning of um, our lifetimes, or at the beginning of our creation, because it, lifetimes are always a, a full stop in the whole process, you know, whether it's past lives or or future you know we're actually living the whole um, crystallization of our of ourselves our very being at, at this point um, so we're dealing with the very very beginning okay um, I just wanted to look at the colors we all know about the chakras but I just wanted to go through this um, so when I paint my mandalas um, I'm using them to replicate the energy of the flower remedy and because this is dealing with very inner childhood, we're going to be in very bright palette. So and very much in the high energy, high frequency. And this is in nanometers. If you want to um, discover more about the flower remedies, please look at Diana's book. Diana's book is wonderful. Um, it explains really clearly how we get the energy from the flowers and how it vibrates. Um, but you can also transfer energy 
in a visual form, obviously it won't affect you in the same way. If you take a remedy, it's going to give your whole body is going to be vibrating at that um, at that particular frequency all the time. But we can still get it with our eyes and we can still kind of retrain our mind. So this is where the mandalas are, are very helpful. So I just wanted to go through. So you've got low infrared tribal drum beat at the bottom, very low um, long waves of energy. Then it speeds up a bit and then up a bit and then very high when we get to ultraviolet, which is shock, you know, and this is pain. So all the way through the body, it's it's working on emotional level and and physical. And what's interesting is you'll also see that um, some of these remedies and the mandalas split into two. So they have we have more male sided ones and more female sided ones. You've already seen that earlier on with that. So we've gone from the I am to the we are. So if we see it in the book, you'll actually see that this is more the feminine sided um, mandalas and this is more the masculine. I mean, obviously, sometimes there's a crossover at the bottom where they actually we've got breakthrough and pain and stuff like that, which are sort of almost they don't have male, female. They're at universal things that we go through. And they're always portals, by the way, pain or um, breakthrough mentally. So these are, are always have a vortex around them. I find that very satisfying too. OK, so that's just an overview of how I planned out the book because now we're out of that very sort of tight inner wheel, which was the very kernel of our being. We're coming into, six minutes already, oh my goodness, we're coming into, into being. So we've done that. Okay, what else? So I looked at my inner pentagon. I just want to tell you a bit about the pentagon though. Um, it's really an expression of, um, you know, symbol of mankind, the macrocosm. So we've got the macrocosm up here and the microcosm. So everything that's happening in the in the universe is actually happening to us. Um, it's a symbol of excellence, authority. And actually, when you get into the to the pentacle star, it often was um, uh, assim affiliated with sorcery and witchery and has had quite a negative thing, which is really sad because actually it's very feminine energy and um, you know and I, I think this is why it, it we're actually coming back and digging up into all this goddess energy again it's very nurturing and very important that we reappropriate these beautiful symbols and and are not freaked out by them um, and see them for what they are they're teaching us all about flow the pentacles and you know the pentacle star is all about this amazing like i'm not doing it properly but it goes something like that <laughs> um amazing flow of energy and the pentagon is equally important and is linked to it okay so i did my own one um and it talks a lot about living in in harmony with nature actually that's going to come out and what our mission is so we're going to find that in the pentacle and, and the pentagon so I did mine and I just drew the pentagon. This is just using it without the, the actual different um, mandalas. I just did a pure just pentagon just to look at it. And I drew myself and I thought, yeah, OK, well, that looks pretty OK. I'm happy with that. But then I kind of had to add that bit in. So there's obviously some murky stuff coming, still coming out. I mean, we're always dealing with stuff coming out. Um, my heart seems quite open, my head, and um, yeah, I feel quite grounded, so that's okay. But feel a tiny bit lonely, there isn't much definition around the pentagon there. So I feel like I'm a bit in the void, which is something that comes up actually, because it's all about being nurtured. So I thought, well, I'll do it again and see if I can make it better. So I surrounded it with stronger green energy. Green always for me means heart chakra. So we're dealing with the different energies, colours. OK, I'm working with the colours, telling myself in my vocabulary, this is what I want to feel. So it's very it's not, you know, here I'm, I'm actually thinking, oh, I'd like it to be green because I want to feel safe and nurtured and full of nature and, and also defined. Um, so I'm feeling safer here. And then I did all the, the lovely spirals. So I kind of inspired myself here. Um, a bit more movement, a bit more light, um, kind of feeling that I'm 
pulsing out energy and the brain is is sort of haloing up that's a nice one and then this this murky stuff is being allowed to come out with a double helix there so that feels very much more energetic it actually feels like it's activated and it's doing some work i'm giving it that permission to do it why not okay so then, um, before we get on to the actual different cards, because I don't want to spend hours on each card, I just want to do pentagons on their own, um, I just thought we should just quickly look at also the family. We looked at that earlier in the one that I did last week. Um, hang on, I will find that because actually that is important. Don't worry about it, family, here we go. Yes, we looked at that um, when there's a difficult... Um, when the mom, daddy and mommy are in the wrong place, you are in the wrong place. So that's going to make your pentagon very squashed. You're going to feel really uncomfortable there. So I looked at, I wanted to look at my actual family, what's going on with the, with me and my couple and my children. And, and I've done a lot with my parents and stuff. So I thought, well, I, I'll do more my family thing. What's going on now? So there's, there's my Ali and there's me. And we're quite, you know, we're standing together, that's fine. And then we've got all the children spaced out around us. And there's quite a lot of pulling in different directions and little little one there pulling down. And so actually I looked at it and thought, yeah, that's fairly, that does explain what's going on. It's not really very grounded, although there is a square. You can see there is some kind of square patterning there. Um, and we're the centre of it. But that's kind of pulling away. And then what I saw, which was interesting, was actually if you put a head there, it looks like a butterfly. So that that really I love that idea is feeling of transformation, which is true. It's in transformation, but we don't want to be in transformation and pulled apart all the time. So it would be nice to look at what we really like to manifest. That has too much almost cat cata stuff going on so then I drew a proper pentagon you know the, the real shape I wanted a home very important put me and Ali up here and then um, I put the children in the right places below as they should be you know I mean this is all just energetic so that they can feel free to go forward and we're left more heading into our spiritual place which as parents you begin to it's not that it's a hierarchy but you begin to take a different emotional role and they need to feel that we're behind them not that they're having to concentrate on us and whirl around us which isn't a very healthy place for children to be in so here i'm, I'm making my pentagon um reconstellating it and making it stronger and giving lots of ground I wanted there to be plenty of ground fertile ground for everybody to to kind of move forward into and get energy from and I began to create the the lines of the grid that's connecting us to our friends and our family and holding us out and 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 making us feel secure so yeah I felt pretty okay with that So now I really want to show you how these, um, they actually work, you know, all the different pentagons as they come up in, our, in the book. Because there are lots of them, but I'm not going to go through one and then the other because we'll all get so bored. Um, so this might be a bit of a longer video, but, you know, we're getting used to that too. Um, so the, what happens is they come in pairs, except for two of them. So the two that aren't... Um, part of the pair, which was the other one? No, that's not true, is it? It's only one. So there's only one that's different. And this is the one for breakthrough, as you can clearly see. So that is the energy we need, and it's very tricuspid for all my all my phytobiophysics practitioners. It's it's in our it's in our first heart lock, you know, and it's like oh, I've got to break out of this pattern. Um, you know, that will help you. So when you choose this remedy or this mandala, you're wanting to break out of patterns and, and spiral up. And we've looked at that before. So we're using the spiral, but we're using it at the very beginning of our lives. So we're wanting to change something very, very deep inside us. So if, the, if we pick this one, I'm always thrilled when I pick this one, because it means that um, 
I need to do something pretty radical. Um, and you will know when you're not because life gets very stagnant and you begin to lose your memory, funny enough, which I, I did. I mean, and I'm still coping with that. Um, and, and so it's, it's a real, it gives you this clarity and helps you push on through. Then um, we've got different ones coming up. So um, I thought this would illustrate really clearly, actually, well, let's do it the right way around, male energy and female energy. So in the Pentagon, you've got father who, when you pick this one, it's all to do with your dad and all the relationship with the divine. But it's more to do with your um, actual father. OK, um, and it's to do with how you mastery and makery, how you actually work in life and how you believe in your um, whatever you do, actually, even if it's being a mom, but it, you do it with real, you know, I'm not saying even in a bad way, but it's just that that could be your actual mastery. Um, and then this is real feminine energy. So here you can see the difference. One is quite stark and clear, and we've already had that coming down from the divine. So we know that that's how male energy looks. And female energy is much more soft and and this is for when you're really overtired and you need nurturing and grounding. You can feel that very soft maternal energy. And that will really bring in some lovely, lovely healing to you if you meditate with it. And I have people that do. Otherwise, just colour it in and see what happens for you. And look at your, look at your um, male, female, look at the goddess energy. You've got that there, clearly. So you can see how we've, these are very early on in this particular um, session of different mandalas on this universal energy lot. So we'll just continue through looking at the different ones. So here is, yeah, funny enough, this one's quite unusual. So this is the, the male one, the very beginning, as we emerge out. And you can see how we're forming crystallized form here from these beautiful circles. So we're into the, the tree of the seed of life and the tree of life here. And in the future, we'll be looking at really complex mandalas. Well, quite complex, why not massively complex? But that's because they're very, you know, very based in our actual inner being. So this is the male one and this is the female one. This is standing on your own two feet and going out there and Believing in your uniqueness, but knowing that the earth is, is nurturing you. But you're kind of pushing out. So it's got a feeling of really pushing out, whereas this one has a feeling of sinking in. <laughs> that was the aim anyway. Um, and this one is for making us feel completely connected. So this goes in and in and in and in. You can do this forever and ever and ever go further in. I put a turtle there to make it um, grounded. But this is all about the silver threads of family and feeling connected to the other, to our ancestors, to our friends, to our, and, and we're completely safe. So when you pick this, you might be feeling very kind of uh, like I, you know, if you've been traveling a lot or you've moved to a new country and, you know, a refugee, whatever, there's, there's this feeling that you actually are part of this fabric of, of society. And this is something that we actually need to to replicate in our society, to know that there is enough and that we can all support each other. But it is important that we stand up and do our part. So these are all linked, okay? So that's male, female of the same one. Then I have, which is a good one to show next? Oh, I love this one. So this is really fun. So this is this is male side and this is female side. So this is our mission, really. So am I a pioneer? who moves and grooves and kind of out there with that male strong energy coming through using the Vesca Pisces very um, decisively and, and charismatically. You get a lot of very charismatic leaders choosing this. And we will choose this when we need that energy to actually be the mover and shaker in this earth and make things happen. Or we might be somebody who comes from nature and is very much um, inspired by the earth and permaculture and doing all kinds of things, but it's a bit angry, has to get the anger out because of the way the earth has been treated. So all the geomancers and the healers and the Reiki people will be more inclined perhaps to choose this. But it's not necessarily true, but it's looking at which kind of energy you're going to be using on this earth. 
more male or more female linked to sustainability or more I lead the sustainability and I do the moving and shaking so obviously you have to look up more about these because there's so much about them um, then uh, this one I actually only just begun to understand now so this is cool so this is the male side and this is the female side well there again you've got it completely clearly clear and you can almost see quite similar energies there um, so this is more for the people who are extremely ingenious and have incredibly weird and wonderful ideas. And we've looked at that and are quite wacky, have a different way of view, viewing the world, but can feel like this kind of right off, kind of watching and very distant. They feel that they're not being supported by the world, but they also feel a bit blinded. So they can't see how to take off and do their thing and bring their beautiful creativity out. Um, and they need grounding. Um, so you get these sort of comedians, um, people who are filmmakers, you know, um, people who do crazy videos about mandalas, you know, it's, it's, it gives you the force to actually believe in yourself and feel washed over with the indigo light of you can just do this, bring it out, you know, uh, let your, let your beautiful inner god, inner genius un, unfurl into life and get through that block, get through it. When you do, you will be rewarded. So that's the sort of male version. And then this is the female version. So it's for people, <laughs> I've been here, who wander around. Because if you see this in the um, black and white, oh my goodness, I'm not saying this because it's so powerful. If you actually see it in the black and white version, at least, why do you think it like this? Yeah. Okay, well, I can't, but it's extremely complex. It's like, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. And that's for people's lives when they've got a bit confused with what, with what they're doing, seemingly. And from the outside, their lives seem really complex and, and a bit ridiculous. You don't know where they're doing, what they're doing, and none of it makes sense. But when you actually paint it and fill in the gaps, you can suddenly see, wow, this amazing pattern comes out and their pentagon is still intact and their life makes sense. And from this tangled web that we weave, there is sense and there is beauty and their lives are unique. So we're looking at the uniqueness all the time of the pentagon. It's very important. Each person is so unique. Whether they're showing it that way or that way. So yeah, really fun. Just play with all of these. Then the last one is actually, you know, it's quite, it is a full on one because in our lives we do very early on in our family life, we might meet with some abuse and it can be, and we actually, to be honest, we all facing abuse in our lives at some point. Um, this can be mental, emotional, physical, or it can just be from the outside world, you know. Um, I think our lives now are very, uh, very violent in many ways. I mean, um, you know, even sort of social media has loads of violence on it. Television does, all these games that children play, um, phew, they're hit with it suddenly. And it has this very, it, it breaks into your pentagon and it really gets in there and causes you pain and doesn't make you feel safe. So these two go hand in hand. This one is all about being safe and needing to come back to your heart and, and feeling protected. And red is a very protective color, as you know from the bindi that the uh, Indians put on the third eye to stop you being, you know, they have a feeling that you need to protect that, which is of course true. Um, and here, you know what the what the actual gift is 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 being able to accept yeah that's happened you're never going to get rid of the the fact that you saw that video or somebody hit you or whatever or they said something violent to you that wasn't it really it's affected you but what you can do is learn to accept it and learn to see it for what it's taught you and see it as something that's given you strength that's an incredibly powerful mandala it's one of the most powerful and begin I mean obviously then this is where if, if you pick this and you feel very oh you know maybe there is a bit of therapy to do there to actually look at it in more depth 
So that's the last two of that series. Um, so that's really where I want to leave it with the Pentagon. So just play with them and um, enjoy them because that is that is the man and all the different things that we go through. So thanks very much, guys. Take care.